A very warm welcome to Tarek Mehta and Morton V. Rod, uh, the presidents of our motion and electrification businesses, respectively. Um, good morning, gents. Thanks for joining us here today. Um, you two are at the forefront of ABB's push for greater energy efficiency. This is a concept I'm sure we've all heard of. Why exactly has energy efficiency become so crucial at the moment? I mean, you can imagine with the current cost of energy and the commitments that everybody has made to save uh, CO2 in the world, there is a, both a commercial pressure, a supply pressure, as well as uh, the need to do the right thing, which is reduce emissions. So all of these are coming together. At the same time, the world is shifting more to electricity as a form of energy. So of course, the more efficient we are, the less electricity we need. And as the world is shifting from hydrocarbons to electricity, efficiency will mean we get there faster. Now, Morton, ABB is a technology leader. So what can our technology do to help industries improve their energy efficiency? You know, as Tarek is saying, I mean, the world is really going electric and that plays in our electrification and automation business. So that's how we use technology also. And we are there from the source to the socket. And everywhere uh, electricity is used, there is an opportunity to save electricity and energy as well. So, uh, and that's how, how we use our technology, if that means from substation, even down to end to building automation with HVAC control, which for instance takes 50% of the energy being consumed in a building comes from HVAC. That's with all the right energy efficient motor, the drive, but also over uh, Cylon um, HVAC controls as one example, where we can use technology to save energy. And I think that's what ABB is all about. Tarek, are there any examples from your business that come to mind? Yeah, I mean, think about uh, industry, which consumes 42% of the, the world's energy. And then when you combine the most efficient motor and drive that we have, you can save up to 30%. So the adoption of drives with motors as well as the most efficient motor solutions are really compelling. So an IE5 class motor, which ABB invented uh, as an example for the market, is some 10 to 15% more efficient than what's out there. To the lifetime of the motor, I mean, you can imagine the kind of payback and the energy efficiency we can get because these things are there for 20, 30 years. So that's the kind of impact we can have. Uh, I mean, we often hear that these technologies already exist. So why aren't they already being used? Well, they are being used today, but not enough. I think that's the opportunity we have in front of us. And a lot of when we ask people, we made a survey also at the beginning of the year, kind of asking people, do you, are you committed or you want to invest? And the clear answer is yes. The question is more how to do it. And that is why we have created also the energy efficiency movement to get sharing all these best practices so people can learn and understand how we, they can save energy. It's a lot about the knowledge that is still missing in today's world. Yeah, let me just give you an example. Yeah. You know, in, in, your, in your personal life, you go and buy a refrigerator or an air conditioner. You have this A through F ratings. In the industry, nothing like that exists. Mm -hmm. uh, so. The way the energy efficiency movement works is we give the opportunity for people who buy our equipment to know what is the most efficient solution out there. And they can compare it with somebody who is in the same industry. So a food processing person can see an example of 40% savings through use of not only ABB but most efficient motors and, and, and drives. And that's a good example of how we can make a difference. You've both talked about the energy efficiency movement. That's something that I think ABB came up with. Can you just tell us a bit about what that is? Yeah, it started in 2021 uh, with a few pioneering um, inspirational leaders in the market, like DHL, like ABB. And then over the course of 2022, now as, as we speak today, we have close to 200 participants. So people like Microsoft, uh, Alpha Laval, I mean, there's a long list. It's about 200 partners uh, and mainly companies who feel passionate, are committed and are giving their examples for others to copy. And we hope to convert this into a much bigger movement with a very simple 10-point plan on how to improve energy efficiency. And that's coming out in the next weeks. Uh, and Morton, can, can we dive into this white paper that's coming out? Uh, this is something we're putting out with a few partners. What exactly does it say? Yeah, first of all, the partners who have, we're working with here is from, from uh, Alpha Laval, Microsoft, DHL, and of course us at ABB, but also the International Energy Agency. We always, you will always hear that energy efficiency is the number one uh, tool in our toolbox. So here we're trying to get a simple way of kind of 10 steps for better energy efficiency, uh, not just by ABB technology, but also with partners and other companies joining the movement. And it's kind of in simple terms is about 
assessing and doing an audit and seeing what is the current state. It's to upgrade the equipment to the best uh, practice that is out there and the best technology like ABB motors and the electric equation equipment that you can use. And then it's to use also digital tool tools like AI uh, to run HVAC as one, one example, but or energy management uh, uh, systems as well. So this is kind of a 10 steps of a cookbook, you can say, uh, how we get to the best energy efficiency possible. And the good thing is that technology is constantly evolving and that's what we are in the forefront of doing. So that's both the business and at the same time doing the right thing for climate. And if these steps are followed, what kind of role do you think energy efficiency can play in, in combating climate change? I think what most people don't realize is, is when, I, when you see all these 1.5 degree pledges and, and um, processes and, and papers, at the heart of that is energy efficiency. Almost a third of the way there is through energy efficiency. When you look at the install base of the electrical equipment in the world, think about motors. 45% of the world's electricity goes through electric motors, and ABB has a leading position. So if you can improve the efficiency just 1%, 2% of the install base, that's huge. That's a huge savings. It has a big impact. So from our perspective, this is just the beginning uh, of what we see as a, a big change. One where ABB can be supportive, uh, ABB can lead in some ways, but most importantly, ABB and, and our partners can educate. Uh, Morton, it's all very well talking about the products we can make available to customers and clients. What's ABB doing to look at our own operations? Are we putting our money where our mouth is? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I think we all know we made our commitment that we will be carbon neutral in all of our operation by 2030. I'm happy to see the progress we're making already that we have reduced the energy um, the emissions with 39% already based on the 2019 baseline. And we are ahead of our 2030 plan and commitment. And that because that is driven down now for each division and each site that, so there's clear ownership to the target. That's so that accountability sits with the local manager and the local team to drive that um, uh, improvement plan and put that getting carbon neutrality in place. So I think that is working well. The next step is also we have given also the commitment that we will uh, together with a lot of other leading companies in the world in our uh, climate commitment that we will uh, change to our old fleet around 10,000 vehicles will be full electric. We will reduce also um, drive energy efficiency again with our sales side but also what we can do with suppliers and customers and then it's about also getting 100% renewable energy in all of our sites. That's the next step that needs to happen. Do you see progress in your divisions as yeah, well? I mean, think about, uh, I was just in Helsinki not too long ago, and then Heike and the team with a very large 100-year-old factory, they will be energy efficient, meaning carbon neutral next year, basically based on the heat recovery processes and systems they're put in. So even in a cold place where you need a lot of heat with a very old facility, if you are creative and you use the latest technologies, you can come pretty far. And, and we want to show not only our own stakeholders, our own employees and customers and partners, but we also want to demonstrate to the world what is feasible if you deploy the latest technology and wh what better place to start than our own facilities. And then we work with suppliers. So many suppliers are also coming on board and saying, can you help us? Can you help us deploy the same solution? So this is a partnership in some ways. This is a common view and perspective of, of uh, like-minded individuals. And we can help meet our commitments, our customers' commitments, but also our suppliers' commitments. We, we all need to work together. Encouraging signs. Well, we'll be keeping a close eye on those targets in the coming months and years. Tarek Morton, thanks very much for joining us today. Thanks. Thank you.